Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today I wanted to talk a little bit about a new feature that I've added to the uh, to the walls and that is uh, called a coin or uh, it's spelled Q-U-O-I-N and it's um, uh, basically a French word that uh, is used or means corner or angle. So anyways um, it's this sort of thing where you have a decorative corner and uh, you see it a lot on uh, masonry or uh, brick uh, exterior facades. So uh, what I've done is I've gone ahead and added it to the draw wall and edit wall uh, menus. So let's just go ahead and jump right into that. And we'll click this and we bring up our wall menu. And I'm just going to make a few adjustments here. Uh, first of all, I'm going to change the wall cladding thickness to three and a half inches for brick. And then I'm going to add a one inch gap and then I am going to change the brick or wall cladding material to just a red brick for now and then the other item I'm going to do is if you notice down here in the advanced options <coughs> you're gonna have now below the exterior wainscot option you're gonna have this uh, coins option so uh, we'll just go ahead and turn that on and when you do that you'll notice another uh, little menu pops up here and this is all of your um, options that uh, you can use to set the uh, the look and feel of these coins. Uh, right now there's only one style, that's style A. Uh, eventually we may add a few more styles. I'm just going to go ahead and leave all these uh, defaults uh, at the, what they are for now. Just hit update and then let's draw a few walls here to get started. So let's just go ahead and uh, throw down a few walls. So you notice when you first start drawing nothing's going to show on these corners and that's because um, the, the the coins will only be um, actually drawn when you have what's called an outside corner. So notice on the inside there's no coins shown. But now as we wrap around and go ahead and draw more walls, um, we will see these coins appear. So let's see, we're going to end this out. Uh, I think right there is where we want to be. And then just bring it right here to the corner of the framing. And hit our space bar, jumps us out. Okay, so there we go. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, we could draw some windows and doors in just to have some there, I guess. Uh, it doesn't hurt. Just to throw a few little openings in to demonstrate. Okay, so mainly I just want to talk, focus on these, uh, the features of these, of this, these coins. Um, <clears throat> so really they're, they're a decorative uh, element that's added to the wall. They're, I guess in some older buildings they were kind of a structural aspect, but in, in this case uh, they're not. They're just essentially um, added to the exterior on top of the cladding. So they'll always appear on top of the cladding. Um, and if you jump into the wall, uh, the wall group itself, um, you can see right here that these corner or um, coins don't actually uh, are, are not part of that wall and the reason is because whereas these ones are so basically you have an outside corner here so if there's an outside corner at the start or the end it will draw the coins if it's enabled if it's an inset outside corner like this wall panel then it will not draw and of course if it's an inside corner it won't. and that's why these these belong um, to this wall panel. So if you want it, this to be reversed, in other words, this long end to be on this end, um, you can reverse it simply by, well, you have a couple options really. You can you can change the corner configuration here so you can set this to an inside or an outside corner and this to an inset outside corner. Um, or you can um, or you can actually just jump in here and change the links. So your L1 and your L2. So let's talk about the L1 and L2. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this edit wall assembly here. And when I do that, you come down to the coins menu and you'll see right away that <coughs> you have what I call the L1 and L2 dimension. So the L1 dimension, if you check, is this dimension. So it's it's the wall in question and it's this wall. And of course this is an outside corner and that's an outside corner over there. And um, And yeah, if you check here, you'll see they're both outside corners and that's why the coins are being drawn in this wall panel. But this dimension right here is 16 inches and this dimension right here is 12 inches. So that's our L1 and L2. So if we change this for instance at 12 and 12 
they should be the same and they are okay so basically <coughs> we can set um, you know this to whatever we like really uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to be double that so so now we've got a sort of a situation like this and um, you know in some cases this there's no spacing between these coins and so you can set the coin spacing to zero if you like there's no harm in doing that and you can have them kind of land up on top of each other and notice how it starts it will create you know the additional coin until it, it and then it terminates it at the so basically it starts the uh, I guess the first one right at the base of the cladding and then goes up from there um, and then maybe the height you know we do we want to adjust that some okay and yeah so basically just all these items you can you can play with again there's only one style so the only style there's no uh, chamfering of corners or anything at some point I may do something more elaborate with that but currently it's just a very simple um, 3d uh, representation for that um, the thickness is basically determining how much that pops out from the wall and you know you you cannot have zero thickness because then it's just going to cause problems for uh, SketchUp. So basically uh, to be clear on that the, the L1, L2, the height and the thickness all should be non-zero values and then the, the spacing though can be a non-zero value or a zero value so that that does allow you to do that. Um, <coughs> yeah. So let's see update that and then uh, the materials um, yeah you can uh, you can use basically any of the custom materials that are in your custom library um, you know I don't know what you might want to use I don't know that's kind of a funny one but um, any of those materials can be used uh, and you can set up additional ones uh, and use those at your whatever whatever works for you so uh, but there is a default material it's essentially just white and like I've always said uh, you can always jump into the uh, the materials editor here and you can find your um, coin material and if, if you do want to edit that you can always do that and you know those changes they will be retained uh, within the, the model once you've uh, adjusted that so that default color can always be adjusted Anyways, um, that's pretty much it for these. Um, like I said, the main thing I wanted to point out really was the fact that when you have an outside corner on an on a exterior wall, then that is when the coins will be enabled, if you, know, if you have that option enabled. Whereas if you have an inset outside corner, uh, you will not get um, the coins being drawn on that wall panel. So, yeah, it's a kind of a cool little feature. Um, you know, I might add, like I said, I might do some chamfers or some other I additional styles uh, just to give people some variety. But uh, if you have any questions or would like to see additional features added to this uh, uh, feature, uh, please let me know. I'm always open to ideas. So once again, thank you very much for your support, and I will talk to you later. Bye.